Hi, I'm Mike Fenton, and I was the casting director on Blade Runner. You're going to see two film tests of actresses who we were considering for the film. One is Nina Axelrod, and the other is Stacy Nelkin. In addition, we tested Sean Young and Daryl Hannah. Unfortunately, the audio portion of their tests has been lost. I hope you enjoy them, and this is what we do in Hollywood to determine who is going to get a role. I really don't remember having uh, an initial call. I just remember uh, going in and meeting Ridley. And I remember, it's also vivid, it's 25 years ago, I remember sitting in the chair and I like, it was so important to me, I wanted to connect with him, I wanted to hear what he had to say. I, I was really serious about this. I felt a, a really deep connection with the material and the entire concept of getting to play this character who had an entire lifetime of memories and believed in the truth of her life only to discover that that was a lie. And not only had she had no life, but she'd actually only been in existence for like, it was a very, very short period of time. And then beyond that was not even a human being, but was robotic in nature. It slayed me, it slayed me. It was like, for me, that was just like the ultimate opportunity as an actress. It was the most juiciest, profound, amazing challenge. What do you want? I've come to help you out. Help me out? I've got as much help as I need. Thanks anyway. Oh, well, you know, it's possible you need more help than you've got. Mm. You know, Mr. Deckard, there's two reasons a man rejects help. Either he's so superb at what he does that he doesn't need it. Or uh, sometimes he's so insecure that he can't admit it. Hmm. Well, that makes me an asshole either way. So the answer is still no. I don't know why he told you what he did. What? Tyrell, I don't know why he told you what he did. Oh, come in. It wasn't possible. In your time. You and your father? Yeah. Did you cry when he died? Yeah, I cried. That's another thing I can't do. <sighs> Something was missing, wasn't it? I don't have anything to compare it to. I need you to tell me. I wasn't very good, was I? Is that why you left? It wasn't you. It was me. Am I very different? Yeah. How? Stand up. You kiss me. I can't rely on my memory to... So say what I 
I say? Kiss me. Kiss me. My eyes. Kiss my eyes. Oh. I want you. I want you. Again. You know, I remember my friend Nina Axelrod who screen tested for the part of Rachel. And I came in to screen test for Pris. She was um, one of the rep replicants. Um, manipulative, you know, seemingly very innocent and naive and frail. Um, but she wasn't that at all. She was extremely manip manipulative and uh, knew what she was doing, and then in the end, you see when she uh, kicks uh, Harrison Ford's butt, <laughs> figuratively and literally, that was, you know, she had this inner power, but she could, on the surface, uh, get by, as everybody had to, uh, with pretending to be very innocent and vulnerable. Parker? Hey, hey, you dropped your bag. <coughs> How, how'd you get in here? The door was locked. I'm lost. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. What's your name? Chris. Mine's J.F. Sebastian. Hi. Hi. <coughs> so, uh, where were you going? Home? I don't have one. Scared each other pretty good, didn't we? <laughs> oh, we sure did. I'm hungry, JF. Yeah, well, I've got stuff. I mean, if you want to come in my place. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> okay. Come on. <laughs> 